Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Mothering in Style, where I share my love for fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and bring you along on my motherhood journey. If you're new here, my name's Sajoa. Thank you for tuning into a video, and if you are a returning subscriber, I love you. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite styling hacks, tips, tricks, things that I do often. So this isn't gonna be one of those crazy TikTok videos where you're wearing your trousers as a jacket or you're wearing your knickers as a hat or one of those things. It's gonna be none of those. These are gonna be really easy styling tips that I think anyone can apply to their wardrobe. Most people have these items in their wardrobe. So stay tuned and let's get straight into it. So the first item that I'm gonna show you how I would usually style is a white shirt. And actually it doesn't have to be white, but any kind of shirt. And my preference will always be a more oversized fit. I think it looks more relaxed. I think it looks chic. I think it looks effortless. So that is my preference, but it's really down to your personal style. And um, in terms of the ways that I would style it, obviously you can just wear your shirt open, oversized like this, but I feel like adding a few styling tweaks just makes it look more different each time you wear it. And I really like that feeling of just getting them all sat in my wardrobe and being able to create different looks. So the first one that I would do is the one tuck, which really is just quite self-explanatory. You can either tuck it into your jeans or tuck it into your bra. My preference is my bra, just because I think it gives that cropped look, which I think is flattering. I think just having that one side tucked, the other side out, it just looks really effortless. It looks very relaxed, very casual and it's just a bit of a different take on a regular shirt. In terms of small styling tweaks, I would always just have the collar quite open. I think that looks more flattering and then you can like really show off any jewelry that you're wearing, especially if you have a more chunky necklace on. And then also in terms of your cuffs, this shirt that I'm wearing is from ASOS and it already has this kind of deep cuff detail on it. Um, but if it didn't, I'd potentially be turning my cuffs back or wearing them a bit more rolled up. And I just think that just makes it look more relaxed, a bit cooler, and like you made a little bit more of an effort and you look put together. My next way of wearing it, which is probably the one that I use the most often, and that is to wear the shirt as a wrap. And I think particularly if you wanna be able to wear a shirt in a way that's more day to evening, then this way I think is perfect because it just looks that little bit more dressy. So for this, I would take one side of the shirt and I tuck it basically as far back as I can wrap it. And then I'm gonna unbutton now. I would obviously normally do this with it totally unbuttoned, but I'm just trying not to get naked on the internet. So yeah, there's that. And then take the other side and again, wrap it all the way around. You'll need to kind of tuck it and then there you go as a wrap shirt and then the back I'll just kind of tuck under like this. This is the reason why I like the shirts oversized because the reason I'm able to create this effect is because I've got all that extra fabric. If you don't have that extra fabric then you can't really create all these different looks with it because there'll be nowhere for it to go. So this way is a way that I would wear if I was going to wear a shirt in the evening. This jeans heels I think it's just a really flattering look and you can really dress it up or you can dress it down. If you are concerned about exposure and you just don't want it to go too low as you move around, basically you don't want your boobs to come out, then my recommendation would just be to button it where you feel the most comfortable, so where you don't want it to go any lower than that. So basically like at the bridge of your bra or higher, if that's where you feel comfortable, then just do that button up and then you can feel relaxed knowing that it's not just gonna open and all the goodies are gonna come out. <laughs> so just do the button up where you feel the most comfortable so that then you don't have to be worrying about that all day. So for the next way to style a classic white shirt, button the shirt to where you feel the most comfortable. So for me, it's right here at the bridge of my bra. I don't want it to go any lower than that, but it can be at whatever height you feel the most comfortable. Then take one side of the shirt like this, the end of it, and just tuck it into your bra on the other side. And then take the other side and pass it through this hole here between the two and do the same thing. So just tuck it on the other side and you're wrapping it over. And then that should give you this 
kind of twisted look at the front. You do need to obviously like play around with it until you get it looking how you want it to look. But there you go. So that just gives you this kind of like twisted look at the front. I think it makes the shirt look like it has a bit of extra detail. And it's nice because it's untucked. So you get that coverage kind of like over the top of your jeans if you don't want it tucked in like it was with the previous wrap style. This shirt, this real like deconstructed feel, which I just think is a great added detail. The next way that I like to style my white shirt is to tie it. And I personally don't really love this sort of tie look anymore. I just think this is a bit bulky. This kind of hanging out to me isn't like, I don't know, it's not giving me vibes if I'm being honest. So with this one, you just want to tie it in a knot. So double it over like this. And then I just neaten it up. So tuck in any of the bits I don't really want to be seen. And I make this part look a bit bigger, like this. And then just tuck in the other side. And it gives you this look of it being a bit of a bow. I feel like this looks like the middle of a bow. And then that feeds out like that into the rest of the shirt. You're keeping that cropped length and you're just making sure that you can see more of your waist, which can be really flattering if that's the part of your body that you really want to draw attention to. This for me is one that I mainly do in summer, like if I'm wearing high-waisted shorts, because it is one that you need to be mindful that it does crop, like if you move, it is gonna kind of expose your stomach. So for me, I don't really want much of my stomach out on show. Um, so I would wear this when I'm wearing really high-waisted shorts that I feel like more secure that it's gonna be covered and that if anything comes out, it's just gonna be a little glimmer, so that's okay. But that is one of my other favorite ways to style a shirt. Okay, my last shirt styling hack I've just switched into a blue shirt because I felt like the white was just getting blown out on camera and also it was super grease after wrapping it and tucking it so many different ways. So this is the exact same shirt in blue from ASOS. I loved it so much I bought it in both colours. So for this one we're going to take the second to last button and just button that over on the opposite side. So I am going to button that here. And I'm doing that on my, what's that, my third button? Yeah, my third button down. And then take the other side and I put it underneath and do it up on the same button on the opposite side. So like make sure that they're level, pull it round, do up the other buttons. And then that's it. So it just gives you this look of it's like a crop shirt, but then you've also got this double layer. I just think it's something a bit different. Again, just another way of reworking that one shirt. I think, was this the fourth way? Fourth way, fifth way? But it's just giving you totally different ways that you can wear it. And sometimes I've worn it like this and people are like, oh, where's that blouse from? And it's like, girl, it's not a blouse. It's just my shirt worked in a different way. So that to me is just a great way of making sure that you're getting your money's worth from everything that you buy, which is my motto in life. I think by tucking in the back, it gives me a bit more of a fitted illusion and it looks really flattering. Let me know in the comments which of those shirt styling hats was your favorite. I don't know, but I think the wrap is probably my favourite and the one that I wear the most often, but I would love to hear from you which one was your favourite. Moving on to my next hack, and that is denim button pins. And if you watched my, I don't even remember which video it was in. I think it's my how to look expensive video. You've already heard me mention these, but I felt like I had to mention them again because I really think these were a game changer. I will put in my video here. Um, of me styling these or showing you how to use them. They're basically just a pin that you can buy from Amazon and these are just really easy to put in the waistband of your jeans and then you can obviously button them a little bit tighter. So if you really struggle with having that gaping part at the back of your jeans, these are a great way of solving that. They're really inexpensive. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but I'll be surprised if they're more than 10 pounds. 
but they to me are a really easy hack something that's just gonna make you look more put together and also more comfortable because being like your jeans falling down all the time is not the one. My next styling hat is for a long line cardigan and I feel like cardigans have been having a bit of a comeback and a resurgence so this is just a really easy way to kind of revamp a cardigan if you've got a kind of a more long line one like this one that I'm wearing. The one that I'm wearing is from Zara. I bought this a few years ago but if I can find something similar I will link it. This is something that only really works for a fine knit cardigan like the one that I'm wearing. So one that's just a lot thinner and isn't too heavy. If it's really bulky, that this won't really work. Um, but what I do is just take each side of the cardigan, the button that's kind of aligned with my waist, I would say, is the one that I'll take, and then I just twist it over like this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I twist it over like this. And again, and then button it on the opposite side. So similar to how we did it with the shirt, but just line that button up with a hole on the opposite side. And then that's it. It just gives you this kind of knot effect. The button obviously holds it in place. And it's just a way of keeping your cardigan, like you're wearing it open, but this bit is keeping it closed slightly. And I just think it gives you a different look to just wearing the cardigan open or wearing it buttoned part of the way. This cardigan in particular, the button's always open, like even if I just button up a couple of them. So this way, having this knot detail, I think adds a bit of additional interest to the outfit. Um, and it's just a bit of a different look to just having the cardigan completely open. The one thing I would mention about styling your cardigan this way is to pick where you twist it wisely because certain positions, if it's too high, it could give the illusion of like maternity wear, of it being like above your bum and exaggerating your belly. And if it's too low, then it doesn't look flattering either. So I would kind of want to position it so that the knot ends up being slightly above your waist. And that to me brings you in at the waist and it's a more flattering silhouette than if it's too high and it makes you look pregnant. It just doesn't look that flattering. So that's something that I would bear in mind. My next hack is to hide your bra straps in razor back and razor front, razor vests basically. Um, and that is just using a safety pin. And to be fair, I have to give credit where credit's due. I did learn this one on TikTok. And basically what you want to do is take a safety pin preferably a safety pin of a decent size, it's quite big, and loop this around your bra straps at the back. The bra that I'm wearing is really easy for me to do this with because it has the holes at the top, but even if it doesn't have this, what you want is for the bra straps to sit in between the safety pin, so not through the actual pin, but sitting in that space in between the two metal parts of the safety pin. And this just allows you to pull your bra straps back and then you can't see them from the back or from the front. I think this is a particularly good hack for anyone who is full of busted and doesn't feel comfortable wearing a strapless bra. So this will allow you to adapt your favorite bra that you feel the most comfortable in, in a way that you can wear it with those tops that should really be requiring you to wear a strapless one. My next style hack that I use all the time and that is for jumpers or sweats that are just that bit too long and I feel like this is one that everyone knows but again tuck it into your bra I think if you're not wearing a bra half the hacks in these videos won't work for you but just tucking it in to your bra just allows you to be able to choose the length that you want as well sometimes you can go shopping for something cropped and everything is so short so I actually prefer buying something that's a more regular length and then cropping it myself in my bra because then I can choose how much I tuck in, how little I tuck in. I, with this, I've literally just taken the end of each side and tucked it in. I often leave the back out or if you want, you can tuck it in all the way around. But the one that I really wanted to mention is if you want to do this over a dress because sometimes you might want to crop something and you can't access your bra because you're already wearing a vest underneath or you're wearing a dress 
And my tip to that would be to use a belt. So this is just a regular skinny belt. I chose this belt because it's one that is short enough that it's gonna stay up because obviously I'm going to a part of my body that's much smaller than my waist. So I basically fasten this belt right up underneath where my bra is. And I would do this over the dress that I'm wearing and then just tuck the jumper into the belt instead of your bra. And this is just great for if you want to layer a jumper over a dress and you still want to be able to crop it, this is what I would usually do. I'll insert, ah, I will insert a picture that I recently posted on Instagram, which again is a jumper laid with a dress. And that's exactly what I did. I just tucked it into a belt underneath and you can create the same look. Okay guys, those are my favorite styling hacks. If there's anything in this video that you liked, please check out the description box below and I will link as many similar items, if not the same, down below for you. Let me know if you found this video helpful and if you would like to see a part two. If you have any other little styling hacks or tips, tricks, share them in the comments. I want there to be like a community vibe in the comments where we can all learn from each other. And if you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I would love to see you in the next one. Take care, bye.